Yeah, welcome, welcome, guys. Welcome, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. God bless you all. Let me see who is there this morning. Let me see who is there. Good morning, good morning. Let me see who is there this morning. Drop a comment, drop a comment. Let me see who is there this morning. We have uh, Leonira Pial, good morning. We have uh, Bonotan, good morning. We have uh, Jean-Marie Tripoli, good morning. We have Angeline, good morning. Yeah, we have a PR from Dominga team. We have Annalisa watching from Balut, from Grace Duenas team. We have uh, Bells. We have uh, we have uh, the leader. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to all of you. So guys, be ready and tell the people to join so we can start exactly by nine. So we have no delay. We have uh, Carubio, good morning. We have Pavo, good morning. So for Pavo, as you are living in Cebu, we are going to give you directly from Cebu. We are going to give you from Cebu because uh, you are there already. So are you near Minglanila or you are far from Minglanila? Are you in Minglanila area or you are far from England? Because uh, you're supposed to receive also your your rice yesterday, but people are you are not in, in the Laget, so we are going to find a way to give it to you there directly in the city. We are going to find a way to give it to you directly there from the city. So guys, are you ready for this uh, morning? We have another person from Balut, Bonotan from Balut. You're welcome. You're all welcome. You are greatly welcome, all of you. Yeah. Everybody is very, very welcome. We have... Uh, so tell the people to join quickly. Tell all the two fans to join. Tell all the people to join quickly as you are going to have our coaching session. Very, very, very interesting session. So tell them to join quickly as you are going to have our beautiful session together. Are you ready? We have uh, Rufa Pia, good morning. As you join, tell me from where you are watching so I can know. Tell me from where you are watching and the name of your, your leader of the group. So I can know the name of the leader of your group. Very, very important. So guys, make sure you tell me from where you are watching and the leader of your group. If you belong to a group chat, you need to belong to a group chat. When you belong to a group chat, uh, it's very serious. So make sure you belong to a group chat. We have uh, Dominga and Baye group chat. We have Grace to Enas group chat. We have Cleo Cindy group chat. And we have also a Maricel group chat. We have four group chat available. So try to be inside one of the group chat so that then we can have a good follow-up so that the leader of the group chat can send me the names of all the people who are really, really active. So today we are going to have a coaching session, a one-hour coaching session, where we are going to be talking about um, a step-by-step -step plan to becoming a millionaire. So we are going to start speaking about how you can build the mindset of millionaires. We are going to speak about the mindset you're supposed to build in order for you to achieve your million status, okay? So as you are joining, if this is your first time, let me know that this is your first time. If this is your first time, let me know this is your first time so that the leader of the group chat can also add you. You can also go directly on our Facebook page and you request 
to join a group chat or you can type there that you want to be a part of a group chat if you are living in philippines and we are going to add you in the group chat where each time i'm coming live or there is something to do or there is a giveaway we are going to take your name directly from the group chat and we are going to bless the people from the group chat so you are all welcome you are all welcome so we are going to start right now that's good this is your first time to join very good very good so very good so make sure you belong to a group chat all of you that this is your first time to join make sure you belong to a group chat make sure you follow me on all my social media by the time you are 10 and you are present we are already a family that means if you see me in south cebu you have no reason to feel shy when you're already a part of our team you don't need to feel shy if you see me face to face so anybody who is already a fan or who belong to our two fans group we are already like a family so if you see me don't be shy so we are going to start um, our today's uh, session so we are going to be talking about building the mindset of a millionaire building the mindset of a millionaire i want you to know today that uh, the millionaire think differently and unlike the vast population of the world who are living in low or average income so i'm going to turn you today into the mindset of the millionaire i'm going to make you to see like a step-by-step -step game plan or a process you and i can go through and release or manifest or unveil our million dollar status so if you're living in philippines and this is your dream to be financially free this session is going to help you a lot and remember the people who are coming to attend our financial coaching session are the only people who are qualified to receive a capital giveaway from us because we don't want to give money to people who don't know what to do with money so only the people who are joining our coaching session can be registered to, ben to benefit a capital giveaway okay so let's continue now if you ask me to break down in very practical simple steps what anyone can do to build a million dollar level or a million pesos level i want to give you the key number one key number one take control of your life Take control of your life. Write it down. Take control of your life. That's the key number one. The key number one is to take control of your life. The key number one, take control of your life. You know, you need to stop being dependent on someone else's opinion. Your life is yours, period. What you do with your time, devotion, and money should be up to you. Taking control of your life requires to be strong and to be a decision maker, you know, and you are able to face and accept all the consequences that can, that can come out of your decision. You don't need to be a very tough person to be responsible, but you can grow into responsibility. The reason why many of us, we are not responsible today is because we like to victimize ourselves. So don't victimize yourself if you want to be financially successful. Some of us, we are complaining about ourselves to other people. We are acting like we are a victim of circumstance. We are acting like God abandoned us. Everything is against us. With that type of mindset, you can never be successful. You can never be successful if you don't like yourself if you don't accept yourself and if you don't want to accept that then if somebody is there to change your life it is you there is nobody who's supposed to care for you more than yourself you need to reach a point in your life where you say to yourself if i want my life to change i need to accept the responsibility of my life i need to do something by myself to make my life to be beautiful to make my life to be great don't victimize yourself but take control of your situation instead by taking control of your life you are going to create your own path you are going to create your own destiny you are going to be able to maximize opportunity and become rich and wealthy 
Right now, for example, some people are not there to attend our live streaming. They are not maximizing the opportunity. They are going to come on social media and say, please, a wise man, me too, help me. But they don't do what they're supposed to do for them to position themselves to receive something. So you, you are maximizing your opportunity by showing up. You are doing what you're supposed to do. So you know that uh, every Sunday you can expect something. But most people are going to live an irresponsible life. They don't do what they're supposed to do. And still they are hoping that something good will happen. Life is not like that. You are going to see that a lot of people don't do what you ask them to do, but they are expecting you to do some stuff for them. Life is not like that. Life is not like that. It's like you go to the gym and you don't follow what the personal trainer is asking you to do and you are expecting to lose weight. You are expecting to be fit and you don't lift weight. You don't do diet. It is impossible. No matter how much you want to lose weight, you want to be fit. If you don't do your workout and your diet, you will never have results. Anybody can say, I want to help my family. I want to pay back to my family what they did for me. I, I, I want to help my dad. I want to build a house for my father, for my mom. It is very nice for you to speak like that. But the question is, are you doing what you're supposed to do to make your dream to become a reality? That's a very, very important question. Anybody can say, my dream is to buy a house to my father. But what you are doing in life, is that in line with your dream? How can you say my dream is to build a house for my father, but you keep on wasting your money? You keep on wasting your money in stuff that will not help you to achieve that dream. Something is wrong with you somewhere. Something is wrong with you somewhere. You are just wishing, but you are not doing what it takes for your dream to become a reality. So we need to stop also making excuses. Oh, I don't have time for this. Yes, like some of you will say you don't have time to come and attend a one hour session that can motivate you, that can inspire you, that can change your life, and that can even give you the opportunity to receive a capital to start a life. But you are going to see that the same people who are saying they don't have life they have time to sleep. They have time to watch TV. They have time to go on TikTok. They have time to TikTok. They have time to go sit. They have time to watch movies. They have time to spend on Facebook watching some videos. They have time to go and watch some funny videos on social media, or they have time to go to watch some YouTube where people are eating crazy stuff, or people are acting crazy, they have time for that. But sad to say, they don't have time for knowledge. They don't have time for information. They don't have time to for business. They have time to chat, but no time for to market business. They have time to sleep, no time to learn. They have time to go to party, no time to sit and study. They have time to talk about people, but they don't have time to listen. What can help them to be the best version of themselves? So many people today, when you see them suffering, this is their own decision. Even if you don't want to admit it, the truth is that this is their own decision. Because if really they don't like their lives, they will try to do something to get out of it. How can you be aware that there is a man called wise man, for example, that is giving capital to people, that is helping people, and it's not even living in your city? So that it is impossible for you to even pay him back. And you have proofs. And you know people who are living in your place that you can go and check and ask, do you really receive that money? And this guy is there. is keep on giving stuff to people. And you don't follow him. You don't come and try for yourself. You don't try by yourself also to receive your own. You just sit like this. And you listen to people who are not even a part of what you are doing. Who will tell you that this is not true? You need to be irresponsible to just listen to what everyone is saying without taking time by yourself to investigate. Are you getting the point? And you are going to start making all type of excuses. Oh, I don't have loads. Whereas in our game, we even give loads to people. 
I don't have loads. I don't have time. Um, I'm like this. I'm like that. Please don't send emoji. We don't want emoji in our YouTube. So no emoji, please. So we are going to see that uh, a lot of people will come and act in the sense of excuses. I'm too busy. I'm pregnant. Um, I have a baby. I have a husband. I need to take care of my husband, take care of my kids. I'm a student. I need to study. I don't have time. I have too much work. I see if uh, we, we don't have something to do. I see if you who is there, you don't have a husband or a partner or a child or something to do. All of us, we have something to do. It is a matter of priority. It is a matter of priority. You, you are there because you choose to set a time apart for your development, to change your life and to change your story. And when people will see you having a new business, you say, oh my God, you are so lucky. You are not lucky. You make it to happen. So a lot of people who are losing the control of their lives are making excuses. Why? Because when they make excuses, they feel good automatically. You know, when you, I'm not qualified, I'm not good enough, I don't have a phone, I, I don't have anybody to help me, I'm not beautiful, I'm not like this, I'm not smart, I'm not intelligent, I don't know how to speak English. It's very, very easy to find an excuse that will make you to feel good. If you really want to find an excuse not to do what you're supposed to do, everybody can find an excuse. It's very easy. It is so easy. All of us, we can find an excuse. I can wake up and say, I'm so tired. I can't do the class today. I can't do a class today. And this is a very, very legit excuse, you know. But we need to reach a point in our life where we say to ourselves, until when am I going to sleep? I've been sleeping for years and my life is still the same. I need to wake up in 2021. I need to wake up finally, at least by December, so that 2022 can be amazing. I can't keep sleeping. I can't keep hoping. I can't keep praying, but I'm not taking any action. And I believe that my life will change. How can I believe that my life is going to change and I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do for my life to change? I keep hoping that my boyfriend will change my life. I keep hoping that my girlfriend will make me happy. I keep hoping that my wife will make me to be happy. I keep hoping that my husband will make me to be happy. What are you doing for yourself, for your own life? You know, it's very easy to blame other people, you know. It's very easy to blame other people. We don't check ourselves. You know, I'm like this because my dad didn't send me to school. I'm like this because uh, nobody wanted to support my studies. But in the same country, you're going to see some people who have no parents and they, 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 they sponsor by themselves their own education. They were doing some small jobs. They were uh, uh, cleaning them, laundry their housemaid their keeping money to pay their, their education. At the end of the day, they are graduates. They have a job. What price are you paying for your life to change? What price are you paying to be successful? What price are you paying to be blessed or financially free? What price are you paying? All of us, we can complain. We can all, see, we all have a reason to complain. You can wake up and say, my father was a drunkard. I'm coming from a broken home. That's why my life is like that. And it's true. But you need to choose in your life, either you are going to use it as an excuse or use it as a motivation for you to succeed. You can use it as an excuse to be a failure, or you can say to yourself, my father let me down already. I'm already from a broken family. I'm already from a poor family. I need to do something for my life to change. I need to do something for a rich family to come out of me. I don't want my kids to live the same life. I don't want my kids to struggle like me. 
I'm going to pay the price now. I'm going to do whatsoever it takes to give the best to my kids. They will not suffer like me. This is how you're supposed to think. Not thinking in terms of my life is useless. Nobody loves me. I'm a low person. I'm a nobody. I, I don't know why God sent me on earth. When you speak like that, you are a toxic woman. There is nobody who can be happy with you in a relationship because you are very toxic. You are very negative, you know. You are very toxic. You always complain. You always complain. You always blame God. You blame the government. You blame me. You blame your boyfriend. You blame your husband. You blame your dad. You blame your mom. You blame everybody except yourself. You are acting like people are responsible to make you happy. See, I have the honor and the privilege to let you know that nobody is supposed to make you happy. You're supposed to make yourself happy. That's why you are committing suicide, because you believe that a man is supposed to make you happy, that a woman is supposed to make you happy. You're supposed to make yourself to be happy. If you don't like your body, you change it. You go to gym, you exercise, you work out, you do diet. Simple. Don't come and stress us like people don't love me because I'm fat. It's true, you're fat. It's true. This is not an insult. It's true. You're fat. Don't act like they are lying. They are saying the truth. They are saying the truth. Instead of you to take it like an insult, you can fix it. You can fix it. Oh, people are people are treating me like this because I'm fat. Uh, men are leading me because I'm fat. Because I'm not attractive. Because I'm not sexy. Why? That's why people are treating me and you're crying. Well, well, if you know that this is your problem, fix it. Just fix it. Just fix it. You can start doing some plank at home five minutes a day. You are going to remove that big belly. You are going to remove that big belly. Just so simple. You can start going to do some Zumba. You can wake up and go to Plaza. You start running there. You can go to SeaWorld in the Lagay Plaza. You start doing some, some jogging. You can walk to Akoi. You can walk to Mantalobo. You can walk to the mountain. You can do something that can help you to burn some fat. You know, you need to reach a point in your life where you look at yourself at the mirror and you accept that you don't look good. And you say, I don't look good. I need to look good. I need to fix myself. This week, for example, I went, I checked myself. I put the mirror in front of me. I say, ha, huh, I can't believe that before I was a fitness model and I'm so fat now. I said, bro, you don't look good anymore. And I said to myself, for the year 2022, I need to get back in shape. I need to get back in shape. I need to, I need to have a physical goal. It's just that the situation of the world with this situation of sickness around the world makes me not to be able to continue my, my gym program. Because I went like two months lockdown. But I said to myself that uh, next year, no matter if there is a lockdown or not, I'm going to set for myself a physical goal. I'm going to make sure that I get back my body like when I was doing modeling. I will get back in shape. So what is your goal? You will just come, you look at yourself, oh my God, I don't look good anymore. I'm no more attractive. I'm no more sexy. I'm so fat now. I don't like my belly. I don't like, fix it. You don't need your complaint. You don't need your complaint. Just go and fix it. Just go and fix it. Go and fix your body, period. You just fix it. So all of us, we have reasons. We have excuses. You can wake up and say, I don't care if I'm fat. I don't care if I'm fat. To be fat is not a problem. Until you get high blood pressure, you will know that to be fat is dangerous. Until you start having some health issue, you will know that to be fat is a serious problem. To be fat is a serious problem. I'm not that fat, but I know because I've done some studies that to have a lot of fat in my body is not good. So I choose to go back to sports. I choose to make my body to sweat so I can have the best shape of my life. And I say 20, 2022, I'm going to have the best shape of my life in 2022. The best shape of my life, 2022. I'm going to do that.
Make yourself to be happy. Make yourself to look good. Make yourself to feel good. Make yourself to love yourself. Make yourself to love yourself. If there is something in your body that is making you not to love yourself so much, make yourself to love yourself. You know, some of you, you are hiding like, I don't care what people think. No, you should care about some stuff. If you're ugly, you're ugly. Yes, if you don't look good, you don't look good. You should fix it. Though, you see, I don't care if my husband don't like me because I'm fat now. This is his problem. This is not his problem. When your husband came to you, you were not that fat. You are the one destroying your relationship. And you are blaming him that he's cheating left and right. So don't wake up and say, I don't care if you don't like me because I'm fat now. Uh, love is not supposed to be on the body. You are talking nonsense. You are talking absolute nonsense. You should fix yourself. You should fix yourself. We need to be responsible. We need to wake up and we say to ourselves, we mess up. You, you say, I mess up my body. Yes. I say, I was not like that. I mess up my body. I've been drinking too much alcohol. You say to yourself, I say, I need to reduce that drinking. I've been smoking too much. I need to stop smoking like that. I'm going to kill myself with cancer if I continue like that. We need to be responsible to be successful. We need to be responsible. I don't smoke. I don't drink. All my friends try to make me to drink and smoke and I refuse because this is my standard. I don't smoke, I don't drink because I don't believe that I need smoking and drinking for my future. That smoking can give me sickness. That drinking can give me sickness. So I don't smoke and I don't drink. No alcohol at all. Discipline. Discipline. This is a, you see, for you to be the best in what you do, you need to have some standard. Discipline. If you're learning something, drop a comment. Learn to be responsible. Another point is that you don't have to be special to become rich. You don't have to be special. Some people act like for you to be rich, you need to have amazing quality or superhuman talent. It's not true. Anyone can be wealthy. Even you watching me right now, you can be a millionaire if you want. You don't need to be a magician. Check the story of Mani Pacquiao. Check the story of a guy like Mani Pacquiao. You, you are living in Philippines. You know his story very well. Me, I saw his story on YouTube. Coming from a very poor family. Difficult life. Doing all kinds of jobs to survive. Look at him today. A senator. A billionaire. So what are you talking about? Some of you, you are, your life was better than the past of Mani Pacquiao. Am I correct? Some of you, your life was better than the past of Mani Pacquiao. Some of you didn't suffer like Mani Pacquiao. But you are making excuses. When another guy like Pacquiao refused to make excuse, and this guy was fighting for his life. Who don't know Pacquiao today? Who don't know Mani Pacquiao? Who don't know Mani Pacquiao? Everybody, even my brother know Mani Pacquiao. Even my mom no Mani Pacquiao. My father no Mani Pacquiao before he died. How can you explain that? My father is not a Filipino. He has never been in Philippines. But he no Mani Pacquiao. I'm talking about somebody who was born in terrible poverty. And he was able to refuse to make excuses. And he was able to fight for his life until he's so popular, he's so rich, and he's so famous that even my late father knows Mani Pacquiao. How can you explain that? And you, you are there. You are making excuses. Say, I'm so poor. Say, I'm so poor. Mani Pacquiao was poor also. But he was willing to fight. You are not willing to fight. You give up. You need to accept that you give up. You give up already. Mani Pacquiao refused to give up. Look at the result. Today, this guy even want to be... If, See, this guy wants to be even a president. I'm talking about a guy that started with terrible poverty, terrible suffering, but he was able to believe in himself, believe in his dream. People don't believe in him. He believes in himself.
Do you believe in yourself? You are always speaking, oh, nobody trusts me. Trust yourself. Nobody believes in me. Do you believe in yourself first? Why you want us to believe in you when you don't believe in yourself? Can you fight for yourself? Look at the story of Mani Pakel. If the story of Mani Pakel cannot inspire you, I don't know what I can say to you. Because I'm taking names that you know. Go on YouTube and watch a documentary about the life of Mani Pakel. Today is a senator. Today is a senator. So can you fight? Can you fight also for your life? Can you fight? Sir, so my life is finished. I'm a single mom already. What are you talking about? The author of uh, Harry Potter was a single mom. Let me tell the story. The author of Harry Potter was a single mom. No husband, nothing. She was focusing on writing the story, Harry Potter. She went to present it to many people. They rejected it. At the age of 50, somebody finally accepted her story and he went on movie. She became a billionaire with the book. She didn't give up on her dream. She became a billionaire with her book, Single Mom. You are telling me, sir, I'm a single mom. I'm a single mom. What do you mean by single mom? Single mom, your brain is not single. Single mom don't kill your ability to dream. You are the one who refused to dream because you think that because you're a single mom, you're finished. You are the one who is saying to yourself that because you are a single mom, your life is over. No, you can, you can say to yourself, if I'm a single mom, this is enough reason for me to even fight more. I'm going to fight for my daughter. I'm going to fight for my son. This is how you're supposed to speak and think. I'm going to hustle so that my son don't go through shame and humiliation. I need to hustle to build a house for my daughter. She's still a baby. I need to fight hard to give her a future. That's the point number one, building the mindset. Building what? The mindset. Don't give up on your dream. Build that mindset. And I'm going to do it. I must do it and I will do it. You will not change along the way. Oh, oh, I was thinking I'm going to be successful, but look at my life now. No, 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 no. I need to make my dream to become a reality. I will not give up on my dream. I will keep on fighting until I'm successful. I started my journey. I was 16 years old. I told my mom at the age of 16 that mommy, oh, mommy, I'm going to be rich. Trust me. My mom said, ah, you are so funny. My son, you are only 16. Focus on going to school. I said, mommy, trust me. This, your boy, is going to be big. She said, amen, and she was laughing. She called my dad and said, hmm, this, your son, is always thinking strange. Our brother is thinking about getting a job. But this one is speaking about being a boss, employing people. I don't know what is wrong with this boy. So my father called. My father told me that my son come. What you want to be in life? He called also my brother. What you want to be in life? My brother said, when I grow up, I want to have a job so that I can take care. He said, you, what you want to be in life? I said, me, I'm going to be a millionaire. My father laughed. My father laughed. He said, you are so funny. Trust me. He said, are you serious? He said, yes, daddy. I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm going to be a boss. People are going to work for me. I'm going to be having some stuff in many countries. I'm going to have influence, even outside my country. Wait, I will tell these people to switch off the music. I will ask them to switch off the music.
So this is what I was talking about. For example, this is an example. This guy just wake up in the morning and he's just putting music. He's killing time. Me, I'm up now. I'm working with you. You, you are up now. You are coming to learn how to be successful. The other one is downstairs. Is listening to music for one hour. At the end of the day, he's surprised. That is 40. He has nothing. A surprise that, oh, look at this young man, wise man. He's renting in this our place. He's paying like 22000 25000 a month for rent. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But he's not aware that we are not doing the same stuff. He's spending the day listening to music. I'm spending my day working, studies, doing research, and looking for opportunity to make money. We can't have the same results. At the age of 16, I told my mom and my dad that I'm going to make it financially. They laugh. At the age of 21, I make my first million. When I reached 21 years old, I was having my first one million. When I received my first one million, I really went to buy expensive clothes, Gucci, Prada. No, 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 no. I stay low key. No car, no expensive stuff. I was living as if I have no million. I keep on taking my money and look for investment and I keep on putting my money. My one million became two million. I didn't stop there. I didn't bought the car. I didn't change clothes. I didn't went into crazy spending. I keep on making my money to work for me. My one million became two, became three, became four, became five, became six, became seven, became eight, became nine. It keep on going up, 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 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So imagine, life is a choice. Some of my friends that we went to the same journey, they have nothing today. When they make also the first meal like me, they were going to nightclub every Friday and Saturday. Some of them right now don't have money. Some of them right now are speaking. My friend that we make money together, and some of them were making even more money that time. Today, as I'm speaking, they, are, they don't have anything. Today, as I'm speaking, they call me boss. How can you explain that? It's because many of us, we are not responsible. We are not willing to delay pleasure. We want to enjoy too soon. We want to enjoy too fast. We want to show up too early. We want to see, we want people to see that we are rich. We want to look rich. We want to dress rich. We want to act rich. When you go to the Laguette, you dress in such a way that everybody's supposed to know that you are rich. You can't wear a jersey. No, no, why should I wear a jersey? How much jersey will cost, will cost you? Maybe this one, like 500 pesos only. No, I can't wear it. You want to wear a 10,000 pesos t shirt. So when you come to the Laguette, Maybe a girl that again will see you with the 10,000 pesos. You want to impress. Because you are trying to impress, you are killing your fin financial future. You impress in Dalaget, you impress in Cebu City, you impress in Kaka, you impress in Manila. At the end of the day, after three years of impressing people, where are you? Nowhere to be found. Because we are not responsible. We don't want to accept that it is our life. We are not there to please people. We are not there to impress people. You have bills to pay for God's sake. You need to focus on helping your family. Not, don't focus on impressing women. Don't focus on impressing women or impressing your friends. Oh, sir, why you don't buy a car? Are you the one to put gas on my car? That's the question I'm asking you. Are you the one to put gas on my car? So are you supposed to have an iPhone 13? What should I do with iPhone 13? I have a simple phone there, Realme. My phone is Realme. 
It's an old phone, even. My phone is old, but I'm giving people money that can buy an iPhone for me. I'm doing investment that can buy many iPhones. But the phone that I'm using is just a simple phone, real me. And some of you watching me right now, you have a better phone. And you're not millionaires. This is a lesson for you. Some of you watching me right now, you have iPhones, you have better phones. But we don't, you don't, you don't even have 10% of the money that I have. But look at your phone. Just no, let's be practical. Who are you trying to impress? Just imagine with all the money that I have, I have a simple phone. I have a simple phone. And this phone, I have it since 2020. 2020, this phone. Look at my phone. If I open like this, look at the phone. Simple phone. You see? This is not an iPhone. This is just a simple phone. I'm not after phone. I'm after securing my future. I'm not after iPhone 11, iPhone 12, iPhone 13. I can take that 50K and franchise even Tok Tok. 18,000 and start a business. Instead of me to go and buy a 50K phone, I can take that 50K and start a big business. Instead of me to buy a 50K phone, I can take that 50K phone and start a Sari Sari store. And start a business that can help me think in long term. Think in long term. If people are going to look down on you because of your phone, let it be. They will not be there tomorrow when you have bills to pay. They will not be there to help you. Tomorrow when you have bills to pay, none of them will come to help you or to assist you. So why you waste your time trying to please them and to impress them? You are trying to please and to pray people who don't really care about you. They don't care about you. All those people, you guys who are trying to impress on Facebook, on Instagram, you go and waste your money in resorts. You don't even have enough. You go to resort, you are taking pictures with bikini, you are drinking expensive stuff, you take pictures, you post on social media. The day you have a problem of 5,000 pesos only, go on that same Instagram and post, please. I have a 5,000 pesos problem. If not, I go to jail. And see how many people who used to like your picture will come and say, my, my, my sister or my friend, please relax. I'm going to send you. None of them. None of them will do something for you. And these are the people you are killing your life for. You're killing yourself for. I want to tell you something. It's time for you to quit pleasing and impressing people. It's time for you to quit placing and impressing people. With all the money that I have, I have a simple phone. I have a simple phone. I live a simple life. Because I want to secure my future first. When my future is totally secure, I can choose to live a crazy life. I can choose to spend like crazy. Like crazy, but as of now, I need to make sure that I have enough money for my son, for my children's children, so that if I die, I have enough money that can help even my, my generation. Some of you, you don't make even 30K a month, but you have a 50K phone. That's a mistake. That's a mistake. All those girls you are trying to impress, they will leave you soon. They will leave you soon. Be responsible of your life. When you are successful, women will never be late. So all of you are trying to kill yourself. Oh, I need a girlfriend. Oh, I need a girlfriend. You don't know what you are doing. By the time you are successful, you are never late for relationship. There is nobody who is successful who is late. You will never be late for a relationship when you are successful. Trust me. Either you are 50 years old, 
you are going to you can find a beautiful good looking amazing attractive beautiful filipina if you want you are 60 years old you will stay fine success will make you to be always young success will make you to be always available in the marketplace you will be trending for life there's nobody who will say oh i love him but he's too old people want to marry you look at president trump 70 years of age look at the wife beautiful model mm, you get my point right or you were thinking no it is only in philippines that is happening even abroad even abroad even abroad even abroad my friend you can be even 100 years there you marry a 18 model because you are successful you can never be late when you are blessed never so instead of, of of you killing yourself now that you are not even that blessed and you are trying to impress already the simple fact that you are trying to impress is a sign that you are not blessed It's a sign that you are not blessed. It's a sign that you are not blessed because if you are really blessed, you don't need to impress with your clothes. You're supposed to impress people by your achievement, not with your clothes. You're supposed to impress people by your impact in the society, by your achievement, not with your pictures on social media. Your picture are not an achievement. Your face is not an achievement. The way you dress is not an achievement. You're not supposed to be proud because you dress good, you have good clothes. Show us your achievements in life. That's how we live today in a very superficial generation. That we go on social media just because we are looking for like. Don't drink it. Try to have some impact in life, some achievements in life. Make your family to be proud. Don't make your friend to be proud because you are spending money every Saturday in nightclub. Some of my friends there, they told me that, they, oh, sir, uh, your life is so boring. I say, why? Because you don't even come with us to club. I want to invite you all the time to go with us to club just for you to enjoy a little. You always say no. It's very boring. Very boring. And the people who are saying that my life is boring, I have more money than them. And they want me to go and follow their lifestyle where they go every Saturday, uh, Friday and Saturday to drink, to waste money for nothing. When me, Saturday uh, and Sunday, I prefer to take my money to go and help people in South Cebu. So you say, my life is boring because I'm helping people in South Cebu and I'm refusing to come and drink alcohol with you guys and smoke and dance and pick girls there. What kind of girls that everybody is messing up with? So my life is boring. You see, you know, people don't even know what they are talking about. I say, if that's what you call a boring life, I want my life to be like that. I don't want my life to change. I want to stay like this, boring. I like this, my boring life. My boring life I'm living is good for me. When I want to relax, last time I went to Asturias Beach Resort, you saw the video, it was beautiful. How can someone say that this life is boring? When me inside my own life, I feel so good and I enjoy so much. And somebody said that my life is boring because I don't smoke, I don't drink, and I don't go to nightclub. I don't go to nightclub, yes, but I'm going to I'm going to, to resort, beautiful resort. Beautiful resort with amazing food. Are you getting the, the point? So we need to reach a point in our life where we stop trying to fit. We stop trying to feel. We need to do what is good for us. What is good for you now? For example, your name is uh, Nanette Sentino. Maybe at your level, 
you want you can put your your child to a five thousand peso school, and your neighbor maybe your neighbor is uh, uh, De Luna. Our daughter is in twenty thousand peso school, and people will come and say, "Wow, I'm so proud of De Luna." And so proud. And now you start feeling like you are not, you start feeling inferior. Oh my God. My my son is only 5,000. Now you start putting pressure on yourself, on your husband. You find yourself in debt because indirectly you are trying to compete now with Deluna. You don't know how Deluna is making her money. Maybe she's putting her child in 20,000 because she has something somewhere. And you, you just try to copy. And at the end of the day, stress to pay the debt, headaches, you don't sleep at night. You find yourself in police station, you need to pay money. You can't pay, you find yourself in jail. Just because of people's expectation, just because you want to compete with people who didn't ask you for competition. When I started my YouTube channel in 2020, some people also started the same like me. And a group of my fans say, we are going to go to the new YouTube channel there. The person is also doing like wise man. Okay. One year later, where is the person? People were com uh, comparing to me. Where is the person? Oh, there is somebody there. He's giving, he's giving also. Uh, uh, is giving big stuff. If you go there, you are going to receive more than wise man. One year after, where is the person they were trying to compare to me? They put that person in useless fight. People push her or push him to compete with somebody who is not doing competition. Oh, if you give more than wise man, you are going to receive. After wise man just wake up, 10,000 there, 7,000 there. Papa, try to copy it. No, try to copy that one. Wise man just wake up 50 sacks of rice to, to after two, 200 kids give money. 200. We are talking about hundreds of people. 200 kids there, 100 kids there, um, 300 kids there. When, they, they, when people were just hearing about the number, they quit. They quit before you compete with someone. Make sure that you have the same financial power. So don't compete because you don't know how people are making money. Don't watch the house of uh, Annalisa because she has a nice car. You start, oh, baby, buy me also a car like that. Maybe it is a loan. You have no proof. Maybe she didn't pay cash for that car. Or maybe she's renting the car. How you know? It's not all you see on social media that is real. People can rent stuff just to take pictures. Okay, to feel like, oh, my life is so bad. Look at this girl. She's killing it. Who told you she's killing it? You have no proof she's killing it. If we want to be successful, my brothers and sisters, we need to be responsible for our lives your life not our lives how can you be successful when you are spending your time minding other people's business how can you be successful when you check the life of uh, eva you take the life of alma you speak about uh, bonota you speak about asingwa you speak about pr you speak about the junior what, what is see tell me when you have time to focus on yourself when you spend your whole life speaking about other people, what time you sit to organize about your future, when always you are speaking about other people, if they are making progress, you can't say congratulations. You say, I'm sure this guy is doing bad stuff. I'm sure this man is doing something bad. If you see a girl with a foreigner, you say, ah, I know there is no love there. It is only for money. Who told you? Who told you? This is jealousy. This is jealousy. Ah, she's just there because of money. She, gold digger only. It's not gold digging. It's not gold digging. Love still exists. 
is don't think that every girl you see with a foreigner, she is doing gold digging. It's not true. It's because you can't have a foreigner that you envy that girl. So now you are bashing her because you don't want her to be happy. That's the truth. That's the truth. Nobody told you not to have your own. You start blaming the girl. Oh, I know she's just there because of money. I know she don't love the guy. She's just a gold digger. She's the, even if she's a gold digger, what is your problem? Who asked you not to do gold digging? We need to learn to be responsible. And some of us sometimes, because we are like that, and people are speaking stuff like that against you, we, we are not responsible to assume our decision, to stand on it. You feel like, oh my God, everybody is saying that uh, I'm with the foreigner because of money. Now you are thinking, oh my God, I love this guy, but people are speaking so much about me. Maybe I need to break up. Maybe I need to break up. And you lose your blessing because you are not responsible. Because you can't decide by yourself. You need people's approval to take a decision. Even your mom is telling you, my daughter, be with that guy. You say, no, man, my friends are laughing at me. My friends are laughing at me. Stuff like that. You need to be careful. We need to be very, very, very careful. Somebody said that you are not famous. I'm not famous in Philippines. I'm famous abroad. I'm famous abroad. I'm not now famous. You guys don't know my story. Go on my website, you check. You are going to see newspaper. I'm not famous in Philippines. I'm telling you the truth. I'm not famous in Philippines. If you want to see how famous I am, you go on my website, you check, and you are going to see the newspaper and stuff. I'm more famous abroad. Very, very famous. Yeah, Philippines, I'm living a simple life because that's my decision. I want to have a simple life in Philippines. This is the truth. Are you, are you getting the point? So, guys, we need to be careful. We need to be careful. Sometimes this is a trap. Sometimes people we call our friends are not really our friends. They are not. You are coming to see your friends. You are very happy. You say, oh, I have a good news for you. And my daughter just met the guy who wants to marry her. And that guy is a millionaire or like this. And it is your best friend who will put doubt in your heart. Oh, you need to be careful, you know. Those millionaires, you don't know what they are doing. Maybe he's killing people. Maybe he's selling bad stuff. Maybe he's a scammer. And suddenly, you were so happy for the news of your daughter. Now you start having fear in your heart. You are like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Now you see the guy you are doubting. I will get in the store. You see, you, you see the guy you are doubting. You see the guy you are doubting because you have some people who are insecure. We have some people called haters. They hate you because they envy you. They hate you because you are what they wanted to be in life. They hate you because they can't be you. They can't have you. They can't compete with you. They see you as a threat. They, they want to be you. They can't. And now they start judging. They start judging and they discourage the mother. And now you see the mother don't want that guy anymore for, for a, 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 a child. And the girl will lose a potential husband. So please, let's focus on the class. Let us focus on more famous. I don't care about famous, you know. I didn't came in Philippines to be famous. So let's focus on the class that we are talking about. Famous is not important for me. If I want to be famous, I will not do what I'm doing. I will just buy and I will just, uh, what they call it? I will just use Facebook ads and I pay and all my stuff will have thousands of you. I'm trying to build something real. I'm trying to build real organic people, real contacts. I want to build something real, like real people that we can follow. That we can check if they are making progress. This is not about famous. This is about the project. I told you I'm in the 100 people project. So the project is to help 100 people to be stable. This is not about famous. If I want to be famous, I will just go and take V-Rocket and I pay $30, 1,000 views. 
reviews and I choose the country. I go on Facebook ad and I pay and all my posts on my page, we have many comments and many views. This is one, a, a, this is a shortcut I can do to be famous. So right now we are speaking about you, not about me. We are speaking about you now. We are speaking about you, not about me. So forget about famous. I'm not, I'm not there to be famous. I'm there to do something. So if you don't get the point I'm sharing right now, you can have a blessing and you can't take the blessing because you are not responsible. Like some girls, they will love a man and they will go and ask to their best friend, what to think about this guy? Come on, you're supposed to be the one to think. You're supposed to be the one to think. You're not supposed to ask to PL about something that you're supposed to do with your life. PL is not the one to marry him. PL is not the one to kiss him. PR will not make love with him. So you are the one to know what is good for you or not. Now you go and see PR. PR, what do you think about this guy? You go and see Samson. You go and see uh, Rowena. You go and see Angeline. You go and see Gamboa. And you are asking Gamboa, what do you think about this guy? Me, I like him. Gamboa saying, ah, me, I don't like him. Really? You think it's not good? Yes, I think it's not good for you. I think you're right. You quit. See, you just break relationship just like that because you are not mature enough to take decision by yourself. That's why some of you, you go to school, you don't know what you want to do. You are asking your classmate, what am I going to do? Criminology or education? What do you think? My friend, this is your life. This is your future. And you are asking to your classmate, education, tourism, what do you think? Criminology. Oh, I don't like to do sports, you know. I'm not strong physically. You think it's good for me? You are asking to your classmates about your future. My Lord, when are you going to learn how to take decision by yourself? Some of you, you have some friends in your life. You are afraid to make some friendship because of people. Oh, my God. If I'm a friend of wise man, people will think that I'm working with wise man because I want to ask money. Some people, they see me, for example, when I was in the Lageta working in Plaza. You know what happened? They, they take a picture of me and they send me a message. Sir, I'm, I, you are in Plaza now. I see you. And if I ask you, but where are you? Oh, sir, I'm shy. Many people, I'm shy. You are shy. To, so you are asking me a picture. And you, at the same time, you are shy. Why? Why are you shy? Did I refuse to take a picture with you? No. But because of people, you are thinking that the people will think that you too, you follow wise man to ask money. You are asking money to wise man. You are making friendship for wise man. So you, you are you are shy. You are trying to you are trying to build a secret friendship with wise man. You really believe that a secret friendship can be real? Do you really believe that a secret friendship is a real friendship? That you are shy to, to show up in public, but you are hoping that the same way I am with Grace Duenas, the same way I am with Dominga and so on, you want me to be the same like that with you also in public. Just imagine, you are shy of me in public, but you celebrate me in private. And you want me to see you in public and celebrate you. Let me tell you something in the Bible. Jesus said that if you are shy of me because in front of men, he, Jesus, also will be shy of you when he will come back with the angel. If I'm not even Jesus, if Jesus, who is so good, God in human flesh, in the beginning was the world, the world was God, and the world was God. The world was made flesh. Jesus himself, God in human form. They call it in theology the logos of God. No one is the logos of God. <laughs> so that Jesus, God personified, is saying that if you deny him in front of people, if you are shy of him in front of people, he too will be ashamed of you in front of people when you come back. 
And some people want me to celebrate them in public the same way I'm celebrating the other people who are showing up for me in public. It is impossible. I will never be an actor. I will not act. You are shy, I'm shy. Yes, let, let put it. You are shy, I'm shy. See, you see, you are shy, I am shy also. Oh, sir, look at how you are. You are so free with this one, sir. Sir, oh, sir, play with this one more. Oh, sir, talk with this one easily. Oh, see, sir, it's giving gift to this one. Me, me too, I'm a fan. No, you are, you are shy. You are shy. You can't even show on your own social media a picture wearing our T-shirt. Can you imagine? See, you can't even post on your Instagram or Facebook a picture wearing our T-shirt to let all the people know that me too now, I belong to the group of wise men. So you don't, see, you didn't declare yourself publicly and openly as our fans. But at the same time, you want to enjoy all the benefits of the real tough fans. No, it's not right. Be responsible. Be responsible. Be responsible and learn how to accept your decision. So if your friends will laugh at you because you choose to follow wise man, let it be. Accept it and continue. But you want to be with wise man, you want to be with your friend. You don't want to lose wise man, you don't want to lose your friend. And you are asking, we are asking wise man to be so excited to see you. No, it's impossible. I'm excited to see like race winners, my great of I'm excited to see them. I'm not excited to see everybody. I'm excited to see those who are excited to see me. I'm excited to see those who declare themselves publicly for me. Some of the people even put my picture on their profile. They, 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 they are not shy at all. No shy at all. These kind of people who declare themselves publicly for you, it is my moral obligation also to stand for them. Like me too, I can, I can publicly say that they, I am also with them. Because they say in front of people that me, I, I love wise man. I, I'm a wise man team in public. Some of them, when we post like a type, I love wise man. You know what they do? If I open my phone, you will see. They will not comment there, I love wise man. They will send a private in our page. I love wise man. People are posting public. You, you are sending the message to admin. I love wise man. Because you don't want people to know. That you too, you love what you are doing. Come on, let's be real. If I show you the inbox of our page, you'll be surprised. Many people, when we ask people to do something in public, people are sending it in private. They are not responsible. And they say, oh, Christ the winner is so lucky. How to be like them? Ah, those people are not ashamed of wise men. When I come to their place, they're excited to see me. That's what me too. And I'm also excited to see them. I don't pretend. So the same way you measure people, people are supposed to measure you. You want to be great. You want to be big. My friend, be responsible. If you choose a woman, even if people don't like that girl, this is your choice. They need to respect it. You need to see, people need to respect your choice. If this is your boyfriend, your husband, and your friend don't like, oh, it's not handsome, or, or she's not beautiful, they need to respect your choice. You are not the one to respect their decision. This is your choice. This is your life. They need to accept your decision. They don't need to try to push you to do or to be with who they want. Nobody's supposed to choose friends for you. Friends are supposed to come from what you're feeling inside. If I feel comfortable with Dominga, if I feel comfortable with uh, uh, some people, I don't need people to tell me how I'm supposed to feel. I am with them because I feel good. I don't drop them because you don't love them. If me, I love those people, I stay with them. I stay with them. 
It's time for us to build the sense of what responsibility. It is very, 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 very important. Now, we are speaking about a step-by-step -step guide to becoming a millionaire. You see that to become responsible is very, very important. Do you know that according to Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Rich Dad Poor Dad, he said that there are many ways of becoming rich. One of the ways is to marry rich. You can become rich also by marrying a rich person. Yes, some people become rich like that. So imagine if a rich guy come in your life and you are afraid to marry him because uh, maybe uh, uh, Sheila Mary will laugh at you. She will call you gold digger. My God, you're going to lose. You are only opportunity to become a millionaire. So be responsible. When you take decisions, stand there. Stand there. Stand As long as you are happy with your decision, it is okay with you. It is light. You don't need people's approval to do what is good for you because nobody can know what is good for you more than yourself. Nobody. Even me, I don't know what is good for you. I don't know what is good for you. So, Develop the sense of responsibility. Be in charge of your life. Step number two for becoming a millionaire. Goal setting. Goal setting. Goal setting. Write it down. Goal settings or setting goals. You want to become a millionaire? What is your financial goal? Show me your goals. Show me your goals. How much you want to make? When you want to make it, what are you going to do to make it? What product, what service are you going to exchange for you to get that money? As a kind of question, some of you need to ask to yourselves. <laughs> You need to ask yourself that type of questions. What are you going to do? What service are you going to propose in order for you to make money? What are you going to achieve? For example, uh, I invested in one project that was speaking about uh, real estate cryptocurrency. I invested into that project with a with an expectation of two years hoping that two years from now what i use to enter there can go maybe 10 times so that means if i put a hundred thousand us dollars i'm going to have a million dollar two years from now in that stuff if i put ten thousand i'm going to have a hundred thousand us dollar two years from now you see i set goals and I'm doing something to make my life to become a reality. Life is not about sitting at home and saying stuff like, one day I'm going to be rich. One day if I become a millionaire, I will buy a house to my dad, my friend. If you don't set goals, you will never become a millionaire. Oh, yes. If you don't set clear goals, you don't decide exactly what you want. If you don't put realistic goals... Smart goals, specific goals, measurable goals, achievable goal, realistic goals. If you don't put a deadline for your goal, you are just wishing. You are just joking. You are not yet serious for your life. Step number three for becoming a millionaire. Huh. Uh, step number three, develop a thick skin. What I mean by thick skin? I mean by thick skin, your ability not to take criticism personally. Yes, this is something you need to develop. If you don't develop what I'm sharing right now, developing thick skin, it means that you, you should not take criticism too personally. As you are building your success, people will come to discourage you. Oh, your food is not good. Oh, the plate is too dirty. They, see, you will always see those negative people 
who don't love themselves, who don't love their lives, and they want all people to be like them. They will come in your life and they will try to bring you down. Negative comments. You will come, for example, on YouTube. They will not even watch the video. They will just click dislike. How can you explain that somebody will put dislike on a charity video that you are giving rise to people and somebody will come and put dislike? If you don't have a bad spirit, what do you have? How can you explain that somebody will see a video speaking about uh, saving money and he will come and put dislike? So you don't want you to save money or what? These are the type of people you're not supposed to keep, um, you're not supposed to focus on them. They are there to drag people down because most of them are frustrated already. They don't love themselves. They don't love their lives. When they see you on social media helping people, people are happy. They just put dislike because they don't know what they are doing with their lives. So if you want to be successful, build that ability where you say to yourself, I don't care what anybody is thinking about me. If you don't like me, well, I will not lose sleep over it. I will not lose my sleep because you don't like me. If you don't like me, Merry Christmas to you. You don't like me, Merry Christmas. I will not think about it. I will not care about it. And I will not stress myself about it. I need to spend a little more minute there because this is the point the last point of today, we are going to continue the session tomorrow. So the last point is develop a thick skin. Emotion of warrior, boss feelings. You need to have boss feelings. You need to act like a boss inside, you know. So I'm going to explain to you how you can build it. And we are going to stop there. So speaking about how you can handle that type of situation, you need to have a certain psychology. In your psychology, you need to say to yourself that uh, I don't really care. I, I really don't care what people think about me. I really care what I think of myself. This is supposed to be your mindset from now. What you think for yourself is more important than what people think about you. What you think of yourself, if people say, look at this girl, she's not beautiful. If you think you're beautiful, that's the most important. Some of you, you feel down all the time because you think nothing about yourself. You think you are beautiful if many people like your video on Facebook or your pictures. No, build a certain image of yourself now first. Because you are going to see a girl on Facebook when men come to your Facebook and they like, oh my God, you are so beautiful. They say, girl, we come and put this like. I don't think so. She's not beautiful. Or they will come and put some negative comment on your Instagram. Because many people are coming to praise you. She will feel like, why people like this girl? She's not even that beautiful. My friend, people have their own taste. It's not because you don't like that girl that we're supposed to not like her. She may not be beautiful for you, but for us, she's beautiful. So you need to understand that. So build already from now the ability to care about what you think of yourself first. So learn how to think of yourself in a certain way. So when you wake up in the morning, you put a mirror in front of you. You look at yourself and you smile. You say, oh, you look good. You look very good today. I like myself. When you speak like that, you are going to raise your self-esteem. Look at yourself and smile. Look at yourself in front of the mirror and say to that person, I like myself. By speaking like that, you are going to remove the negativity from people. Some of you, you are very beautiful. But because some people say that you are morena, you start feeling, and sir, me, I'm not beautiful because I'm black. Me, I'm not beautiful because I'm Morena. Sir, me, I'm not white. Me, sir, what you mean by white? You think white is beauty? You, you don't need to fit. You don't need to fit. You don't need to fit. And say, me, I'm Morena. So what? 
So what? So if you are Morena, you think, you think you are smarter than God? If God allow you to be Morena, you think God can make a mistake? Now you say, sir, me, I'm not beautiful. Why? Because I'm not white. Huh. I can't believe people can have that type of low self-esteem. How can you reduce your beauty to a color? How can you reduce your beauty? See, your body is not all about your skin color. You have eyes. You have lips. You have nose. You have everything. But you are going to see that many girls, you know, men are not too affected by stuff. You know, we men, we don't care. You see a guy like me, I can care about color. <laughs> I'm speaking mostly for girls. You think a man like me care about color? I don't care about colors. I don't care about colors at all, you know. But for women, it's very important. So women need to be appreciated. It is normal for a woman. When, when you praise a woman, she feels good. So when people start making negative comments on a woman based on her color, if nobody is there to help that girl, she can feel ugly. Are you getting the picture? Are you getting the picture? So we need to learn to love ourselves and accept ourselves. Accept yourself as you are right now. Love yourself. Love yourself. And see, and you see, I, see, I am telling you the truth. This stuff for beauty we are talking about, don't stress yourself too much about it. You may be with a man, it feels like you're not beautiful. For another person, you are so beautiful. I promise you, I swear to God. I swear to God. See, sometimes you see, oh, sir, me, I'm chubby. I'm chubby. I'm not sexy. There is a man somewhere who loves chubby so much. Actually, when you are chubby, he is so attracted. Sometimes we are killing ourselves for no reasons. What you are right now, somebody somewhere is praying for it. There is somebody somewhere who wants to be with a Morena girl. And you keep on saying, Sir, me, I'm Morena. I'm not beautiful. I'm Morena. Develop a thick skin, my friend. Be tough. Be tough. This world is wicked. People have no good manners anymore. If you want to listen to people's mouth, you can commit suicide. Don't believe all what people say. Be tough inside. Build it from now. This is the best advice I can give to you. If not, you are going to cry all the time. You are going to cry. Number two, in the psychology of uh, thick skin, you need to understand, I want to share it with you, See, if you don't really care what other people think of you, you are going to enter a new level of freedom. Don't follow other people's footsteps. No, follow your heart. When I want to know about myself, I look at myself in the mirror. I don't need your eyes to see myself. I see myself with my own eyes. When I look at myself every morning and i feel good about myself it is okay for me i don't need somebody somewhere to come and tell me oh sir you are handsome i need to know it first by myself if you don't accept yourself even if people come in thousands to say you are beautiful you will not still feel beautiful so you need to build that ability now cultivate it love yourself if somebody come and say, oh my God, you're not beautiful. Tell him face to face. You don't know beauty. Tell him, my friend, you don't know beauty. This is real beauty there. And you smile. When people want you to cry, give them a smile. Oh my God, you're not even beautiful. Say, my friend, you don't know what is beauty. This is real beauty there. Look, look, look. This is... You kill the person with a smile. Love yourself. Love yourself. See, there is only one person like you on earth. There will never be another person like you. Love yourself. Look at the person and smile. And say to yourself, you are too small to make me to cry. You know, some girls also are very thin, very skinny. And people sometimes make some funny stuff about them. Oh, my God. 
You have bones all over the body. You have bones. You have like this. My friend, love yourself. See, if you don't like bones, there is somebody somewhere who is dying for bones. God is so good that God makes the life to be balanced. If you are fat, somebody is looking for fat. If you are chubby, somebody is looking for chubby. If you are skinny, somebody is looking for skinny. If you are tall, somebody is looking for tall. If you are small or short, somebody is looking for short somewhere. So why you kill yourself for people? Let's be realistic. Why you kill yourself for no reason? Just because you are you are living in a very wrong environment doesn't mean you are wrong. It's just that your beauty is not appreciated there. It doesn't mean there is something wrong with you. They are the one who don't appreciate your beauty. If you travel now, you go, for example, in Burakai or you go to northern part of Cebu, you go to Moabual, you are going to see somebody somewhere who likes you so much. It's not because you are living in a place and nobody is noticing you that you think you are nothing. Try to travel. Just try to travel. You go in another place. You are going to see so many people who like you. So many people who like you. So stop feeling bad because of people who don't appreciate your beauty. They know nothing about beauty. They know nothing about beauty. Some people just take you for granted. That's why they think you're not beautiful. Because they stay for with you for so long. So they don't see how you're special anymore. Try to leave your place. Travel. One week, you go to Asturias or Balamban, or you go to Dumaguete, or you go to Ormoc or Cebu City, or you go to Boracay or Palawan, or a place where you don't know your friends, and just walk on the streets. You are going to see the number of people who are going to look at you. You will realize that you still have something amazing. But when you are walking around in your barangay, they don't appreciate you anymore. Because they think they know you so much, they know your life, they know your kids, they know your past. So for you, for them, you are just a common woman, you know. They, they can't appreciate you. For them, ah, this girl, I know her, she's the mother of uh, the three kids then. I know her boyfriend there. So for, for them, you are no more amazing because they think they know you so much. Same in the Bible. When Jesus went to Nazareth, what happened there? He couldn't perform any miracle. Well, because people say, we know his father. That's the son of the carpenter then. Come on. It is a, we know his brother and sisters. People took him there as a common man. And the Bible says he couldn't perform any mighty work in Nazareth. Can you imagine? He couldn't. That means he tried. It didn't work. But when he went to another place, people were trying to touch him. People were putting clothes on the floor. People were shouting, son of David, have mercy on me. This is how life is. You can be in the place, people take you for nonsense. You go another place, you are celebrated. You are even surprised. I went to Toledo uh, last time for a vacation to relax. You guys, you saw it. When I entered Toledo, I was just sitting somewhere and I was singing. Three people came, three people came, three girls came to me. I was sitting there and I was singing. Hey, sir, are you new in this place? Are you single? Do you have a girlfriend? They introduced themselves to me. Three people, same time. One said, oh my God, how I wish to have a husband like this. On the spot. Another place I go there, nobody will ask me in marriage. Another place I go there, people ask me marriage. <laughs> this is this life. Is, life is beautiful. They ask me marriage. This is how life is. Another place you go there, you are nobody is talking to you. Another place you go there, people are talking to you. They are checking. They are asking. They want to know. They want to know. They are interested to you. When I went to Burakai, uh, my God. When I went to Burakai, what year I went to Burakai for the first time? I went to Burakai for the first time in 2016, I think so. In 2016, when I came for vacation in Philippines, 2016, I went to Burakai. 
When I went to Bodaka in 2016, at that time I was coming freshly from abroad. I was still doing sport. I was still having my, my modeling body. When I went to the beach and I was just wearing my shirt and I was walking, my God, I feel like I feel like I feel like a celebrity then. Oh my god, oh my god, pictures. Oh no, no, no. When I was living in Boraka, we don't wear clothes in Boraka. People are walking around there with shorts, no t-shirt. Boraka was I was in RN station too. We were just living there like like oh no. So no need clothes there. You walk around, you know, you walk around there, you don't have t-shirt. Almost everybody is wearing short only, no t-shirt. You walk there, people take pictures with you. People take pictures. People say, carry me. You carry me, they take the picture. Some go on your back, they take pictures. All types, Korean, Filipino, uh, foreigners. Hey, you, man. Ah. When I finish Burakai, I say to myself, I will come back to Philippines. <laughs> Oh my God! I say this place is ah na 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 na. This country is good. So Borakai made me to be convinced to come back because it was so nice human experience. People, you feel you feel good. Your self esteem is affected. People take picture. People people jump on your back. People say carry me. We take picture. People everywhere. You feel so good. You say, I need to come back to Philippines. I'm telling you. I, that's why I came back. You think I came back because... Uh, no, I came back because I have a nice experience. Very nice. After I came back again in 2017. 2017, it was good. So this is to tell you that you can go somewhere and people appreciate you in such a way that you are going to ask yourself, my God, am I that really attractive? Am I that really handsome? When you go to another place, they just ignore you. They just gossip about you. So don't focus on negative people. See, focus on people that love you. Same also in the real life. People who show they love you, focus on them. Like when I come to my YouTube like this, I don't focus on everybody. I focus on people who love me. I focus on people who value me. When Sunday comes, I buy rice, I send to those who love me, those who accept me just as I am. This is how life's supposed to be. Life is simple. We are the one to make it complicated. We are making our own life to be difficult. You are trying to force Dominga to love you. You are trying to force Pablo to love you. You are trying to force Pia. If Pia don't love you, no matter what you do, you are wasting your time. That energy you are wasting on Pia, take the same and focus on someone who loves you already. You are going to see how you are going to be happy. Just imagine Gamboa loves you and you focus on her. You talk more with her because she loves you already. You are going to feel more happy. She will not hurt you with useless words. But most of us, we are checking people who hate us. You are asking Gamboa, eh, what people are saying about me in, in, in your place. I don't want to know what people say about me. Some of us, we are looking for pain. Comment if you understand what I'm talking about. We are trying to know all the negative comments about us. You want to know what people are saying against you in Balut, against you in Panagikan, in Solohon, in Giwanon. You want to know what people are thinking in Oslo after you are the one. Why? Why like this? What have I done to people? Why people hate me like this? It's not true. Not everybody hates you. Not everybody hates you. It is impossible. Even Satan have people who love him. Even Satan have disciples. It is impossible for everybody to hate you. But your problem is that you focus only on those who hate you. What about those who are praising you? What about those who say, wise man, I love you? What about those who are taking pictures with you, who are posting your picture? You don't focus on them.
you are looking for those who are insulting you because you want to be sad. It's time for us to be strong. People insult me. Oh, yes, trust me. People insult me. But I don't care. First, I don't care because I will never ask them anything. I don't care also because I don't need them in my life. I don't care because this is also my life. I'm the one to decide what I listen or what I don't listen. So what they say is, is nothing for me. I don't, I don't even think about what they think at all. Because this is my life. If they don't like it, let them just block me. And I will not miss them. People say they hate you, but they keep on following you. It doesn't make sense. If you hate me, block me. They say they hate you, but they follow you. They hate you. You see them on your friend list. What is this? You hate me, but you follow me. You check everything I do. My friend, you are my fan. You are my fan. You don't want to admit. You are just a fan. So learn to be strong. For example, if you go on some of my social media, I don't even read comments. Some, 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 some don't even have comment session. Some don't even have comment session because I'm not after comments. I'm not after praise. I'm not after who I have from people. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. People like me. They hate me. For me, it's okay. I'm not a girl. I'm not that sensitive or emotionally weak. No, no, no. I'm not a girl. I'm not a girl. I don't need people to praise me to feel good about myself. No, no, no. If I want to feel good, I travel. If I want to feel good now, I travel. I come to some places. Hey, hey, hello, sir. How are you? Automatically. Everywhere I go, I create stuff like that. So one of the best secrets for, for stuff like that is to give silence to people who don't appreciate your presence. Give them silence. Don't talk to them. See, some of them, they speak bad because they want you to talk to them. Don't talk. Ignore them. If not, don't talk to them. You will see. They will miss you. They will... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Some of the haters are your lovers. Some of the haters are your lovers. If you don't talk to them, they can go crazy. Mm -hmm. This guy, who you think he is? They say something, you don't reply. They say you don't justify yourself. They say any bad stuff. You don't even come and give your comments about it. You are just like they say nothing. And they are impressed. How many people made comments against me and never replied to them? They quit. They quit because they are this, guy, this wise man is really wise man. I don't reply to comments. You can make bad comments from Monday to December. I never reply and I don't even defend myself. They quit by themselves. They quit. They, they just quit. Ha. They, are you sure this guy is so they come in. Yes. What he say? Nothing. Are you sure? Let me say again this one. You come out again, you say something bad. That is worse. You come and check again. Wise man is aware that I say like this. Yes, he's aware. Uh, what he said to you when you told him? He just smiled. Are you sure he smiled? Yes. This guy is crazy. <laughs> this guy is crazy. I'm not crazy. I just don't care. Yes, I just don't care because, first of all, I don't need Facebook in my life. I don't post my picture on Facebook. I don't make money on Facebook. My family is not even on Facebook. You see, my family is not on Facebook. I don't have business on Facebook. So what? See, if, if no matter the comment somebody can post there, it's a waste of time. I don't even read it. So you are wasting your data, you are wasting your load, you are wasting your time, your emotion for free. And I will not even reply to you. This is the worst part of it. Oh no. Develop a tea skin. This is the advice I'm giving to you. You are going to stay young, fresh. You are going to stay focused on what you do. Because if you want to reply to everybody, it's like you owe them something. 
See, I owe no explanation to any man on earth because there is no man on earth who is holy enough to judge me. Yes, because we are all sinners. There is nobody who can come and say, hey, how can wise man do something like this? You, that is coming to speak like that, you have some dirty secret too. Yes, you have some dirty secret you are not proud about. So don't come here because uh, people don't know your secret. You come and act like a judge. You, you come and act like a judge of the universe to say to, 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 to say who is right, who is wrong, who is good, or who is bad. So when I look at people talking sometimes, I laugh. Because I know that these people who are acting so good, they have some dirty secret they are not proud about. So when they are talking about me, I say to them, Merry Christmas, enjoy yourself. But I look at them and I laugh inside. That's why I don't reply. Because I know that even the people who are trying to speak bad against me, their life are not perfect. They are not. So why you try to defend yourself in front of sinners? Just because you are sinning in a different way. A sinner is a sinner. It's not better than you. Trust me. It's not even in the good position to throw the first stone. When people came to see Jesus that this is the woman who was cheating on her husband, Jesus told them, let the one among you who without sin throw the first stone. Any one of you who without sin, let him throw the first stone. None of them. The Bible said they were accused by their conscience. Can you imagine that? Most of the people you are going to see who like to gossip about people, blame other people, if you check, they are the worst sinners. Yes, the people you see talking about other people, saying other people are bad, if you check, those people are very wicked. If you check, they are very, very wicked. After speaking with you about uh, 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 Bonotan, they will go see Bonotan and say that uh, you were talking about Bonotan. They will put you in trouble. They will come in your house and start speaking about people. You will not say anything. And they will put your name in front tomorrow. That Dominga said this to me. Sentino said this to me. And you will be surprised. Me? Oh my God, I didn't say anything. And, and, and your friend will doubt. But how come somebody was in your house for two hours? He was speaking. So you are telling me that in two hours, you say nothing? They will make people to doubt you. They will make it to lose relationship, connection, and friendship. Be careful. Don't open your house for gossip. Don't accept friendship that are about talking about people. If your friend cannot build it up, it's not your friend. Don't accept friends who are always there to speak about what your husband is doing. It's, it doesn't love you. Oh, baby, I just saw your husband now. Well, he's in a bar right now. He's in a bar. Come, come, let's see. Oh. Why you always check my husband? It's like you are trying to destroy my marriage. Why you don't come and tell me what my husband is doing that is good? You are always in my house to tell me that your husband is now with a woman there. Be careful. Let's go, let's go there, let's go there. You don't love me. You don't love me. Because if you really love me, you will know that uh, telling me like this will make me to feel sad. If God didn't allow me to know it, let it remain a secret between God and him. Don't be the one to tell me what God didn't reveal to me. Fake friends. Because most of them are single. And because you are married, they want you to be like them. They want to break your relationship. They want to break your marriage. They always report what is bad. They never report what is good. Tell them, I don't want anybody to be a, a, a police officer behind my husband. Leave my husband alone. Leave, you love my husband? Why you keep on pursuing my husband? Are you in love with my husband? Tell them the truth. Most of those girls who are doing that job, they have no set of homes. They can't even stay with one man for long. They are jumping from men to men, men to men, men to men, and they are the one to advise you. How can you advise me about relationship? You can't even keep a man for six years. 
and you are the one to come and advise me and I listen to you, you are going to destroy my relationship. You are not an example. So my friend, build a thick skin if you want to be strong in life. Build it. People will come to bring you down. Build it now. People will talk nonsense about you. Build it now. People will not say thank you to you. Build it now. People will make stories against you. Build it now. They will envy you. They will jealous you. They will fight you. They will gossip you. They will betray you. And so we be ungrateful. After doing a lot for them, they will turn against you and they will say you did nothing. Even me talking to you, we have some people that uh, we give capital for business and they say they never receive. Some of them receive capital, they disappear. And the next comment is, say, I don't have a phone anymore. And uh, say, I don't have loads. Before capital, they are there every day. The day they receive capital, they don't have loads anymore. They disappear. This is what I call ungrateful people. Some of them, before receiving something, where is my la malakas? Oh, oh, idol. When they receive, ah, what is wise man? What is wise man? <laughs> uh, I look at them and I laugh, you know. You know, because, you know, because a guy like me, I have, I have experience in life, you know. I look at them and I laugh. After a few months of you, they don't have money anymore. You will see them again coming to my, my Instagram or social media. They like a post. They want to reconnect. <laughs> so I know already the end of the story. So when they add that, I just laugh. I don't say anything. I just laugh. They will come on my story. I'm going to see them. Hey, this person was on your story. What? What are you doing there? They will come on, on, on my page, like a picture or check. Huh? You? You like my picture on my page? How come? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. How? What happened? As one of them messaged me, um, sir, I heard that uh, you, you are no more in that again. Is that true? You say, I say, yes, I'm no more there. Oh, sir. I, I, you know, I not see what happened. I said, no, I, I'm, I'm not there because I'm going abroad. Oh, my God. I say, why are you so, my God? Can I see you before you leave? No, I say, I'm leaving tonight. Tonight, I'm going to the airport. Oh, I'm so sad. You, that used to insult me. You just heard that I'm no more in the luggage. You are crying. And I, I, and I even say that I'm, I'm going abroad so that she don't even look for me. Can I see you before you leave? I say, no, I'm going to the airport like this. Drama. But when I was in the luggage, you are among the people talking nonsense. But you receive capital. You didn't even say to the people you receive. You act like you didn't receive anything. The day I'm no more around, you message me. Sir, is that true? You are no more there. So you miss me. So you are checking me. So you are monitoring me. Wow. Can I see you? I'm going abroad. When? Tonight. Ah. Look at the message. Sad emoji. Oh, I will miss you so much. I say, how can you miss me now? You never message me that you miss me when I was in the laget. So you miss me in secret. Ooh, you love me in secret. Secret love, Nala. You love me in secret, but you insult me in public. So you want to discourage other people by speaking bad so that uh, nobody can come near me. So you are the only one to have access. Wow. I told her what the strategy. So I told her the strategy is to discourage everybody. Hmm, wise one is not good. Trust me. So it's a bad person. And you, you want to keep me in secret. So you make all the people to be careful about me. And you in secret. I miss you. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You will be the one. Goodbye, goodbye. You will be the one for me. I say goodbye. I'm going abroad. I'm not going abroad. I'm there. They are just told us. So she leave me alone. 
As I'm going abroad, I'm not coming back. Oh my God. She so I'm sorry, but I need to go. Oh my God, oh my God. Why is my love Malakas? Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye. Goodbye. So you feel pain also, my God. I was thinking you don't feel anything. You'll see. People saying that me, I miss them. I don't even miss it. You are the one missing me. But you are saying, <laughs> oh no. Uh, uh, I told them I'm going abroad. I'm not going abroad. It was just a way to, to make her to go away. I say I'm going to the airport now. Oh my God. She sent me heartbroken. Crook, 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 crook. Drama. If you love me, that I was in the like, yeah, January to September. Why you didn't came to see me and tell me you love me? Why, when I'm going, you feel so much love now? Be careful. People are like that, you know. People are like that. See, people destroy your image for free and they fix in secret. It doesn't make sense. If you love someone, you don't need to do stuff like this. See, how can I say, for example, I love you uh, to get your attention and start speaking bad about you? You speak bad about me so that I call you to say, why you speak bad? From there, you want to create a friendship with me. No. So you speak bad about me, I don't reply. I don't answer. So you wait, you wait, you wait my reply, and one day you just discover I'm leaving. Ah, this guy is going without saying anything. Why, sir, are you going? Don't go. Goodbye, my love. I'm going. I'm going. Sir, what is your new place? I know I'm staying in a hotel because I want to go to the airport. Why? Can I see you for the last time? The last time. He was like, mm -hmm. that song they used to put on social media. Mm -hmm. Oh, very sad. I said, no, I'm going to the airport like this. I'm going to the airport like this. Sir, so are you coming back again to delegate? No, nah, no. Nah. I'm not even coming back again to Philippines. But why? I say, why not? Why you are so affected? I thought you don't like me. Oh, how can you think like that? I say, so you like me. <laughs> oh, you guys uh, develop a thick skin. Sometimes people love you and they fight you. Like that case, you love me and you're fighting me. When I go, you cry. Huh. So, if you want to answer to all people, they will make you to go crazy. Some people love you and they are fighting you because they love you and you don't talk to them. You need to understand that. Some people are in love with you and they don't have access to you. And this is making them to go crazy. So, they are angry because they don't know how to contact you. And they ask Dominga, by Dominga, guy, please, can I see wise man? Dominga say, I don't know how to see wise man. They get crazy. They say, wise man is arrogant. Why it's not easy to see him? Huh? Who you think he is? My friend, you are in South Cebu. I'm living in the city. You are the one who wants to see me. And you want me to travel? To go? Ah, nah, 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 nah. And you are angry. Why are you, see, see, why are you angry? Why are you angry? You are not supposed to be angry. Because for me to go to South Cebu, 1,500 pesos, one way, taxi. Cebu City to Dalagate, one five. Going back home, one five. If the taxi is coming to pick me from the city, 2,000. So if I need to go and come back, 3,500 pesos. Because I don't take a bus to go there. And you are the one who wants to see me. And you say that me, I'm arrogant because this guy don't want to see people. This guy don't reply to message they send on the page. This guy is arrogant. No, I'm not the customer service. I'm sorry. I'm not working in the call center. I'm not working on the call center. I'm not the customer service. People want me to be on, on the page on Facebook. Reply to all people. Nah, nah. I don't do customer service job. This is not my job. Ah, uh, And I told you already, don't comment there. I don't... <laughs> oh. Uh, why people hate? See, you need to be happy that I'm telling the truth, that I'm not on, I'm not reading those messages. 
the people still go there the message and they get angry he's not reading the message huh he's not reading the message so why you open the page if you don't have time to read okay let me try to check um, the page now i see how five minutes with you and i'm i'm done let me try to check the page and let me see if you yourself you can manage that type of page let's try to see the kind of message we have there um let's see if uh, you are willing to do that type of job so let me try to check some messages then and let's see if uh, you guys will love it okay let me check the first one the first one say um yes hope for my kids that is the introduction hoping so much will help my son who need help from schooling if you give me five thousand i will build a house because we are poor <laughs> you see that type of message doesn't make sense what kind of house can you build with five thousand let's be serious he said if you give me five thousand i will build the house because we are poor we have no money to build a house and the person send the picture here is our house so i hope you can help us and also my son after the person the picture of the son number two so imagine i need to read stuff like this it doesn't make sense i'm wasting time you're asking me five thousand to build a house message number two sir and uh, good morning please give me a milk and a diaper for my daughter i live in dalaget table message number three hi admin good morning how to be a part in the group i'm in davao city okay this one we answer already in the public there already this one say thank you for inviting me sir ah never invited to my sister and uh, this one is hi wise man can i ask a favor next one how to be a reseller my friend i don't sell anything this one, paat po sa group cha o tempo, paat sa for tempo. This one is put in English and Bisaya. Let's continue. Uh, how to join po? This one next meeting. Help me po. This one next message. Good evening, sir wise man. Hope you will read my message. I'm willing to promote every day your page and your YouTube so I can have a small business if you help me. Drama. This one say poet more appeal. I don't know what is this. This one say hope mapilipo ako for the first time. Watching from Dumanjun Sebu. This one say congrats to you, sir. This one say hello, good day. This one say hello, sir wise man. <laughs> this one, <laughs> this one say I hope, sir, sir. I hope to meet you and you give me a blessing. I'm a single mom. I have four kids. So you see the kind of message. Imagine if I need to work to read those two. Um, see, this is a waste of time. I put already everything on the page. How to join, how to win. And I even put, just comment your Gcash there. And I told you already, when I do live on Sunday and Saturday, just come and watch. If you are there, you receive. I hope to meet me. I have four kids. You are fucking if your husband see me with you. Are you sure it's, me? it's going to be happy? Hello, sir. This one say, Sir Wise Man. This one is a message to say thank you. Nice. This one is um, upon, sir. I need money, sir, to buy attire my baby. Wow. Amazing. Um, this one say, Me unta maka sulaike tagan. Ani sir Weisman. I don't know what it means. I po sir Weisman. Thank you so much. Uh, good evening. I hope I will be one you will choose to start a small business. I'm a student in University of Dalake. I have one child, one month old. I hope I have a chance to no, everybody can have a chance. If you join the game, you receive. We don't even choose people. This one say, please, sir, uh, for my small business. Yeah, 
I put everything already there. If you join our life, you win. It's so simple. So simple. It's not even difficult. You don't even need to know me to win. Most people receive, don't even chat with me. Everybody can receive. We don't choose people. Trust me. So um, many messages. I can't finish all this stuff, you know. Nobody can finish stuff like this. So much. And this one... Uh, This one, hello, Sanama Pil, Miss Gracia Ari, Amo Balikwan, Barato Po Kayo, Osaika Tawi Nako Walaka, Duti Gabao Mi Karun Ari Buki. My friend, trust me, I don't understand. So, 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 so. The, I'm lost, you know, I'm lost. So that's why I say I don't go there because I don't understand. Um, some stuff they are putting there, I posted it already on my page. Just go on the page. You are going to see everything. Even yesterday I posted how to win. How to win. Some people even message that they want iPhone. Come on. I don't give iPhone to people. Even me, I don't have iPhone. How can I give you iPhone? I don't have, no, see, this is not iPhone. I don't have iPhone. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's session, right? I hope you enjoyed today's session. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to continue the game today. Today is Monday. See, begin to play by Monday. Those of you who are playing one day before the event, it's difficult to win. Then when your name is appearing in comment and like and watch, and you don't skip the ad from Monday to Sunday, you win easily. So, guys, let's go to Wiseman TV from Monday to Sunday. Let's promote, let's like, let's share. And I told you already what we do. If we get more subscribers, I'm going to add uh, games. I the games are there already. You see, the first game is um, giving money to strangers. Second game, um, blessing people selling something. We come and buy all your items. For example, you have a barbecue business. If I come to your place that day, I buy all your barbecue. We give to people. If you have a sari sari store, we come and buy stuff. We empty it. So we have also a game for giving money to college student. College student. We have for college student. We have for single mom. We have for Lolo, Lola. We are for paying people's friends. We are for Christmas. We have to encourage people to be generous. We have many games that are coming. So guys, promote the channel so we can have more interesting games. When I see that our videos have a lot of likes already and a lot of views, I'm going to add greater games because I don't want to do a game that is so expensive, maybe 100 people only watch. No. If when we post, we have at least a thousand people watching, hundreds of people watching, thousands of people watching. We are going to add beautiful games, beautiful game, very beautiful games. We can you can you can win milk diaper for your baby, you can win rent, we can win capital, you can win a, a special couple street, husband and wife. We treat you everything, pay by wise man. A lot of stuff you can win. A lot, a lot, a lot. You can win also for your baby, not only for yourself. You can win for your baby and baby receive a make and diaper for the month. You win again, we send a game for your baby for the month. So guys, be active, be active. Push the channel. You are going to be blessed. So blessed. If you don't believe, you go on our page. Just watch the picture. You are going to see how people are blessed. This is not a prank. This is real. So, guys, I love you all. I hope you enjoyed the session. You learned something, the advice, the mindset, all what we shared together. I hope you learned something. If you can't copy all, just watch the replay over and over again. You are going to get it. I love you all. I hope you are ready to receive your T-shirt this week, your face mask this week. God bless you all. And I'm going to see you again tomorrow. Ciao, ciao, ciao.